Of course, I'd like to always start off my Facebook lives. I am the 2021 candidate for governor of Virginia. My name is Merle Rutledge. And of course, today I saw a nice little interesting article on one of my opponents that decided to run in this race, a state congresswoman or whatever she wants to call herself, Jennifer Foy. I hope I have your name spelled correctly. Running for governor of Virginia, a Democrat, a rerun of the DNC Northam and Obama failed policies and promises in Virginia. Now, let me first start this off. God is good all the time. And also, I would like to say one of my black lives matter, white lives matter. All lives matter. Stop the division. That's my recommendation for Jennifer Foy. Because obviously you didn't get that message when you decided to run and been continuously race baiting, loving abortion, standing against two way and doing whatever you wanted to do. So I'm calling you straight out because I like doing this face to face. But since I guess you're scared to come out. Because of the coronavirus and your propaganda tools that you use to prey on Virginians and certain groups. Obviously, that may not happen anytime soon. So, let me start off fresh because obviously people need to know who you are. They know who I am and they're going to continue to know I'm going to rip and shred every single Democrat that I possibly can during this race. Now... I welcome you to the race for governor of Virginia. The problem is your establishment only shot caller, abortion crazy, sexist, race baited using coronavirus to lie about your anti 2A agenda while covering for that rat Northam. You dodge questions with giving too many of the others opinion and not of your own on substance. You're a failed public defender and purely about reverse discrimination and sexism, as if only one gender can do a job well while disrespecting men all over this country and insulting your own. LGBT community should be insulted while claiming you support their cause especially when they love their pronouns or they identify with whatever they do identify with that day. But you are supposed to be backing them while saying women are the only ones who can do a job well. Your gimmick to be the first African-American governor approach is full of Democratic talking points and none of your own while covering up for races in your own party while only asking for an African-American to resign called Justin Sex Assault alleged Fairfax and ducking on others that contributed cash to your campaign like Herring and Rockin' Ralph. You know I don't call him governor, so Ralph Northam, let me be more specific. This interview in your glamour magazine, clearly you're not ready to leave or be straight up with Virginia. You voted against two way rights while promoting a sexist agenda. You failed to call out your boss on his ignorance and stupidity during this pandemic and pandered and deflected to the African American community as being the major source of sickness in this world to a pandemic. I'm sorry that your bosses and your leadership is really at fault. If you fear your own party and going to bark when told to bark, this is the opposite of leadership, but a token for a liberal puppet with no brain of its own. I hope you understand this was a direct answer and an attack, and I'm not sidestepping to it like you did your constituents. You talk bullshit fluently well and nothing on how exactly to help Virginia. You only talk about the problems with no fix. Find a new gimmick like your friend Chase. 
This was by the real 2021 Virginia governor's candidate, Merle Rutledge, running for Virginia and Patriots, not for the liberal slave owners and excuses. What did you get out of that, Jennifer Foy? What it means, I checked you out. I looked at your profile. I looked what you presented to this campaign. And I see nothing but race baiting, supporting abortions, calling a certain gender and doing it through a supremacist manner. And also sidestepping direct questions with foolish answers with fancy language like the rest of them politicians. Now, this is no longer a game, people. We are facing the destruction of America by liberals all over this country. And all they are doing is having their surrogates or those that come after them to finish off the job. Merle Rutledge ain't going to let that happen. It takes tough leadership to make the, the tough calls, make the hard decision, make the sacrifices that we need to do to get us out of this crisis that liberals put us in. Jennifer Foy may sound nice on paper, but when you read up on her, she dodges the flex on every single question that comes her way. And the only time frame she addresses anything directly is to say that I'm going to do whatever the Democrats tell me to do. As she clearly said, I'm going to do what's in the best interest of my party without mentioning how she's going to take care of Virginia. She also was happy to try to take our guns. She was working with Ralph. She was working with Heron and Fairfax and the rest of them, trying to take away our constitutional rights while claiming to be about equal rights. Now, I guess it's equal rights for criminals to kill us, but it ain't an equal right for us to fight back. And you know Rutledge fights back. Rutledge tells men, women, and it doesn't matter who you are. You are not to be a victim. You are to be the predator to these released criminals out here that's causing havoc all across this damn country. Now, I've been all over Virginia. And Jennifer Foy, I want you to know this. I want you to know I am the death of the Democratic Party for a reason. And when I read up on people, when I check them out, I smell the liberal crap all over you. This is what you call being groomed by Northam and Fairfax and Heron, the three amigos who have put it down the line that anybody who's running that crosses the DNC, they're going to have trouble. And I told everybody, I want that type of trouble. That's what I'm here in this race for, protecting our rights. Not shutting down Virginia over a bad political hoax. Making sure people know there's going to be confidence in a new day with Republican leadership. Making sure people know that they are going to have Virginia be Virginia again. And if we keep electing these softies, milkshakes, rhinos, Democrats, liberals, those who don't give a damn about us because they're already getting paid off in Richmond by them lobbyists, then we are going to be in the same swamp and the swamp is going to get nastier and nastier. Now, it's going to take somebody who has known what that swamp does. When you, you've been around these stupid politicians, when you haven't sold out, when you have to step up and be there for the leadership that conservatives is looking for, the patriots is looking for, you got to bend over backwards and sacrifice and almost be ready to die to win this race. That's exactly what I'm willing to do for Virginia because Virginia has been doing it for us all throughout time. Now, when I get on this campaign trail and starting real early, starting next week, heading out to Lynchburg, heading out to Danville, heading out to Charlottesville in Northern Virginia to go ahead and destroy these democratic lives in all parts of town, all parts of county, all parts of this state. It ain't going to take no soft approach because they've been affected by the liberal media. All over the place, giving out the lies about how conservatives is racist, but you're seeing the racism in Democrat policies already. And Foy is an example of it. Every time frame they mention a certain group of population, it's always, like I said, negative. And every single time frame, people jump on the nice little bandwagon as soon as they see black this, white that, whatever type of division that they try to bring here in Virginia and America. 
This isn't about one race or the other race. This is about the Virginia people moving forward and seeing light at the end of this darkness. Now, small businesses, she talks about people are living paycheck to paycheck, but you're not doing anything to help the small businesses and those businesses being destroyed in this economy going bankrupt for pennies on the dollar to China. But you want to talk about how the struggle of American working families are going through right now. You're not sitting at their kitchen at their dining room table. You're sitting there in Richmond getting wine and cheese festivals from your lobbyists. You don't understand Americans because y'all shouldn't have been getting paid during the lockdown. We wouldn't have a lockdown right now if they had told them Virginia politicians, hey, let's cut off our pay. Let them vote to make sure that we no longer get paid when we do stupidity like this over a 98% virus that has a recovery rate. Y'all should not be getting paid during this time frame so we can really see your struggle. We Then you can really understand what Americans is going through. The bills that's being backed up. The interest on those bills being backed up. The late fees on those bills being backed up. And you send out what you call, we are looking for money for illegals. Without talking about how we're going to save the businesses that have been taking care of Virginia families since the beginning. But this is what they do up there in Richmond. It's no longer about the Virginia people because they've been sidetracking us the whole time. When you read these articles and when you read these gimmicks and when you hear these speakers talk, they talk about talking points about the problems. They don't talk about how to fix it. They talk about the vision without bringing us together. They talk about separation while talking about how we can be social distancing. They are not practicing for us to work together and unify because they are stuck on their own personal interests for their party, not for this damn country. When it gets to this type of bold politicians talking reckless all over the place and they forgetting that who is number one all over this damn world. That's God, that's country, that's patriots, that's those who have fought, bled, sweated, and tears, those who have been on the front lines, those who have voted in those lines, from those who have been beaten and suppressed to those who have given out the ultimate sacrifice. And then how dare you, Jennifer Foy, talk about mail-in voting and you was encouraged in it. What is it that you don't understand in history? during voting time. We have seen the dangers all across America and Americans that are patriots have stood in those lines hours after hours to decide our leadership, not a melon vote where we can't tell who's voting. Our elections is being overrun by illegals and those trying to commit voters fraud by all types of policies, destroying voter IDs, destroying everything that says I am the one who placed that vote and I'm the one who is deciding on who is going to be the next leader, not somebody else who's acting like me. See, these politicians don't understand what it's like because they've been so far away from their own communities that they don't even talk to them anymore. The reason is because they scared to face the same public that they decide lost to, but hide inside those nice little chambers to go ahead and tell you what to do while not doing it themselves. Look at North and Virginia Beach. See, I don't cut corners for nobody. I don't mince words. I'm a straight shooter, smash mouth, and I'm brutal as a candidate and savage as I need to be because the same language you talk about me using is the same language you've been using all across America and disrespecting this country, disrespecting a president showing leadership during this time. And everybody wants to blame every Republican for the problems that's going on here in America. Don't realize that the problem has started in your liberal governments that brought you socialism to America. See, that's the tough language that people don't want to talk and say because they're trying to be so polite. They'll say it online. Me, I say it face to face. Now, this is the time period for all voters to decide on. Are you going to let politicians use you? Are you going to let politicians to basically tell you how to act, how to talk, how to walk, and train yourself to be an adult again? We work too hard 
all of us Americans that's out there that's fighting to survive to this day. Those who have seen their lives destroyed. Those politicians don't sit in your house because they are so busy trying to take another house. Look at the stock deals. Look at all the trades. Look at everything and everyone who's profiting off of this pandemic. And it's those elitist liberals that's out there that's letting it happen. While you create a business that you thought was going to bring wealth to your families. Your businesses are being bought pennies on the dollar. This is the time for no longer politicians. This is a time for patriots that's not bought off by special interest groups or lobbyists. This is how we fix Virginia from the household dinner table to that boardroom. This is how we make sure our constitutional rights now more than ever is protected in every single way. When we are not able to go to church and practice our religion, when we are not able to protest against a tyrannical government without the fear of arrest, when we are not able to be Americans enjoying our neighbors and our company and those of our family, and we can't even go to a funeral without a New York liberal mayor saying, arrest them for mourning their loved ones, the loved ones that he helped put in the grave while saying they need federal money. Well, guess what? Who's paying for all those funerals? See, they're not talking about that because it's been covered up with smoke and mirrors. Like I said, there's no more gimmicks for these politicians. You step into this race, you're stepping into Rutledge world. You're stepping into Republican territory. There's no longer a Democratic stronghold. We are taking Virginia back by any means necessary. And Jennifer Foy, you should know exactly what that means. Patriots will get Virginia back and running back in the right direction. Jennifer Foy, you need to decide on whether you really cut out for this race. Because exactly what I read, exactly what I know about you, exactly what you talk about is nothing more than pandering to the flunkies that is Northam, Fairfax, and Heron in the DNC. Leadership isn't about following the party line. Leadership is making the best decision on behalf of your country and all citizens. If you feel like you only going to represent one group or one community or one background, Virginia is full of many different groups, many different backgrounds, many different races. You need to decide on are you going to run to be governor of Virginia or are you going to be the governor of sexism? And using race as your toy to get around this. So this is Merle Rutledge. The real 2021. If you haven't gotten it clear yet. I'm not the typical Republican. Because I fight back. There's no more time for fear. No time to spread it. It's time for Virginia to wake up from this liberal nightmare. And take our state back. From these career politicians that need term limits, plain and simple. And I'm the person to get that job done. There's plenty of others that can get that job done. But the thing is, when you look at others, have they been doing the same thing all the time and shown change? Or you look at the person who has started change without even having a place to vote in Richmond. That's what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to bring the message of patriots to Virginia's capital and get the job done without no excuses. So you have a good day. And Jennifer Foy, understand this. The longer you are in this race, I'm going to be more savage, more brutal. What your governor and DNC has done to Americans, I will be unapologetic. I will not show no remorse. It will not be any mercy at all because every single day I look at my neighbor, every day I look at the community, every day I look at the state and see people's faces and fear, the fear that you created along with the DNC all across this country, there will be no mercy. 
And exactly like I said, I plan to make sure every single Democrat or independent or whatever, they will switch parties because they're going to get the truth. Not fancy language or hairdressing or whatever dressing that you want to put on your liberal salad across America. We will never bow down to tyrants. We won't comply when you try to take our guns. We will protect life and not send patients to nursing homes to help the rest of them die while you say that you care about saving lives. We will protect religious freedom. We will make sure that Virginia becomes Virginia again with you or without you. Have a wonderful day. This is Merle Rutledge signing out the next Virginia governor.